Drew Piscopo. And I'm Alex Melton. Hope you guys are having a good uh, start to your new week here. This is right. Alex's last week here with us. Well, so it's my last month. Last tomorrow, Monday. Tomorrow's my last day. Yes, tomorrow's your last day. So. We gotta have gotta some make, good. We gotta have some good shows here. <laughs> gotta make the best best of today and tomorrow. Yes. I know I'm gonna probably get really sad tomorrow. It's okay. You can get a, you can get a little teary eyed. Oh really? You're, you're gonna let me get a little teary eyed? Today? Yeah, I'm just Thank gonna sit you. here. You're just gonna sit here and watch me cry. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Well, I'm, yeah, it's, a, it's a little joking. bitter, little bittersweet. I bet. Yeah. What do you do in your last week in Boone here? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm leaving Boone on Friday, so I'm going to have to be packing up my apartment, and um, I think I might go hiking. Okay, hiking. hiking. You, you and hiking. Yes, you know that yes. hiking sometimes involves sweating, right? That's right, but I, you know, <laughs> I don't have a problem with sweating at okay. all. Okay. Probably go hiking. You hang out with any of your girlfriends? Yeah. For last time? Yeah, I'm, I know I'm going to go. <laughs> Stop it, make me sad. My roommates um, left this morning, so I'm sad, so... Um, they're like, I've known them like What do you mean? They're like four went home? Years. Yeah. For, I guess, they graduation. They graduated. Right. So that was really sad. I cried this morning. And, um, I'm sorry. I'm going to be alone in my apartment, which is sad. But uh, I think I'm going to go hiking. I'm going to go see The Great Gatsby this week. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised you hadn't seen that yet with your boy Leonardo DiCaprio in that. Well, I heard it was, my sister went and saw it, and she said it was wonderful. So I'm going to go do that. And I'll probably just, I want to spend some time outside because I really haven't got to do that at all, you know, this well, this year? Yeah, summer's kind of... And it's supposed to be really warm this week and no rain. Hopefully. Yeah. Summer's kind of, you know, just starting up, though. Mm -hmm. So you, you, got a, you picked a good week here. I, we're supposed to get in, like, the mid-70s and yeah, stuff this week, though, aren't like they? It's cold today, but uh, today's... Yeah, I heard, like, last night there was, like, or this morning, we had, like, maybe, like, freezing, like, a chance of... Yeah, I had like, well, some frost on the... Yeah, some frost. I, I was like, the, what's going on? On the car this morning. It was but, cold yesterday for a graduation as well. I went to take... Some pictures outside with uh, one of my roommates that was graduating, and we were freezing. I had on like a strapless dress. It was not a good idea. Did you go to graduation this past Saturday? Um, I didn't actually go, but I went and took pictures. So, oh, okay. So you didn't go attend the actual graduation? No, my one of my roommates graduated on Saturday, and so we met up with her and a bunch mm -hmm. of our like good group of friends, and we took some pictures, and then that's what we did on Sunday as well. Okay. Yeah, so that that was fun. So yeah, graduation obviously was this weekend, and mm -hmm. uh. It was a great success. My friend, good friend, Melody Miller, she was in charge of everything. She's 20, 22 or 23 years old, and she was in charge of every single commencement ceremony. So I'm really proud of her for doing that. She's the youngest uh, person to be in charge of commencement ever really? in the wow. history up here. So she did a wonderful job, and I'm uh, really proud, and everyone here at MTN is proud of all of our graduates from Appalachian I'll tell you State. What, I, and Friday we saw some crazy traffic. Oh in my Boone, gosh, traffic was ridiculous. Everybody coming up and you know supporting their kid and everything, mm -hmm. graduating. I just it wonder was, where everyone parked. It was nuts. Yeah, movie theater Friday night too with the Great Gatsby releasing, and then all the mm -hmm. parents and everything coming. Up. Oof, it was nuts. Yeah, it was crazy. Boone was, Boone but now was it's, it's kind of calmed down a little bit. Yeah, it has. Good. It's it's chilled out just a, a little bit, and I think with all the students mm -hmm. leaving now too, hopefully we're gonna see Boone a little bit easier to travel through now. Good, but, I hope um, so because well, just during big events like that, it's Boone's a really small town, and I feel like there's so many people that your live posse's here. not gonna be traveling around with you anymore as well. So <laughs> true. Well, I'm just saying, you know, all your fans and everybody. Have <laughs> yeah, a lot of my good friends have grad. It's just sad. It just the years went by so fast, but okay. I don't okay. don't get me upset. Don't All right, upset. we're not going to talk about it. Um, but don't <laughs> forget about our beautiful flowers placed yes. right here on our table. They are mm -hmm. brought to you by, brought to you by Bouquet Floors, and that is located at the shops of Shadow Line, and that's up near Harris Teeter. Yes, right and, next to um, Harris Teeter up there. Yep, right next to Harris Teeter. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hopefully everyone had a great Mother's Day as well. You got some flowers from the Bouquet Floors, but. Maybe just you're a little late and uh, you still want to give your mom some flowers because you should give your mom flowers every day yep. or your wife flowers every day. You can give them a call at 828-264-3313. Now, did you go see your mom on Mother's Day? No, but I sent her this really awesome card that sang and it was a flower pot and it had like googly eyes on the top of it and it sang a song and it was like, it was like a, I don't know. <laughs> it was saying, like, since it was a flower pot, it was saying, like, thanks for helping me grow, Mom. I love you. And oh, it was really okay. cute. And then it, the, the, his head would bounce up and down with the eyes, and it would sing. She loved it. <laughs> she was like, I listen to my card every day, <laughs> every hour. And uh, she texted me this morning. I was say, it's been one day. <laughs> well, I meant to say every hour. She texted me today, and she goes, I've already listened to my card, like, four times this morning. Mm, okay. See? Googly-eyed cards. It was a little silly, but uh, 
A funny Mother's Day card's good. You know, you send out the sentimental ones, but what about you? Did you see your mama? Yeah, I saw <laughs> mama. Yeah, I saw her and my grandma. You don't call a... your mom mama? No. Just mom. Just mom. Just mom. <laughs> you don't call her mommy or anything? No. Okay. No, I saw her and my uh, my grandma on uh, Sunday, I guess. We were at my grandma's cool. house. Saw my sister, too. Wished Great. her a happy Mother's Day and uh, got to spend some time with my nieces, so that was fun. That's sweet. But uh, other than that, uh, had a good day. And uh, it was not, I mean, tell you what, it was nice, nice weather for Mother's Day, too, around here. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys got a little bit more creative than we did and took them out somewhere, but that would probably mm -hmm. been a good idea. Yeah, this is probably the first Mother's Day I've never been with my mom in my 23 years of my wonderful life. I'm kind of sad. Well, it's the first year I haven't been with mom. See, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember what I did last year. I know that sounds bad, but I might have been in, still in school at this time. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, I would always go home on the weekend when I was in in school. But I mean, I feel like school's out, so. Yeah. Well. Oh well. Okay. So, you got any anything you want to say about sports? Yeah. I know sports is kind of done for y'all. It's it? pretty much done. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's knocked out of the state playoffs and everything. I think uh, there was some. You know, there was some nice games going on over the weekend that we, we were able to get to. Um, Watauga was taking on A.C. Reynolds here. In Boone, Watauga came up a little bit short in girls' soccer. Uh, two to nothing. They lost to A.C. Reynolds. A.C. Reynolds scored in the mm -hmm. first half, about the first ten minutes of it. And they scored the first one. About ten seconds later, they scored the second one. It was that quick. Wow. And uh, so they took the victory there, two to nothing over Watauga. And then uh, Ash County was traveling to West Stokes. I was at that one. And uh, got beat five to nothing in that one. So all our teams are knocked mm -hmm. out. It looks like I think. Are uh, you really jumped to get any more games? I I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. We got so many games backed up now too that we got to show for our games of the week here. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. Yeah. Neat. Okay. Well, you know, sports are wrapping up, and it's summertime. Yes. The best time of the year is summertime. Yep. Go to the beach. <laughs> Exciting. Don't you love the beach tree? Yeah, I think I think so. I think I know. We know you do. I know. I'm gonna say because I'm moving to the beach. Yeah, Loving it. I know. It's about that time. About time it is for about some that family time. trips. I'm excited. Okay, so let's talk about our lineup for today. Okay. Now, Mr. Meyer is back. So happy to have him back from his yes. trip. He's gonna be talking about his trip to Israel, and uh, then we're gonna have Linda Craig and Anita Layman, and they're from the Watauga County Republicans Women's Club, and they're having a forum coming up this week talking about affordable. Um, Care Act, which is Obamacare. Right. So that's okay. coming up. And then we're going to have Landis Walford on the couch as well, and she's going to be talking about the Naturalist Weekend that's being held at Grandfather Mountain, and that is May 17th, 17th through the 19th. Okay. So we have four interviews today. We have one more, and that is Carrie Phillips. She'll be in on the couch as well. So we have a really packed show today. So you really might so want to stay tuned. Yeah, yes, we got to get, get going. Let's go to commercial break. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a minute with more MTN Live in the Mountains.